Buenos dias. Parlez-vous français? English? Of course. How may I help you? I was told a man named Jack Builder lives in this house. Who told you this? A group of scholars living at the edge of town. They said he used to translate old scriptures about mathematics before he moved here. Please wait here. I will talk with Master Rashid. It's his. You are. Uh, may I ask who let you stroll around our house? Uh, I was asked to wait here. Yes, my servant told me already. My father's not here at the moment, so you'll have to make do with me. Unfortunately, I must disappoint you. There's no one called Jack living in this house. He must be here. I found his slingshot. What? Who allowed you inside my father's archive? Maybe he took a different name then. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is not easy for any of us. I think you should know that Jack and I are promised to each other. Maybe we should go inside. The sun's burning and my mother doesn't need to hear us. Jack told me about you. You are Aliena. You're the one who rejected him and married his stepbrother. And now you want him back. I need my son to meet his father. His father? The little one is Jack's son. He is. He always said that he had come here to find out about his family. But instead, he found out about everything else. About philosophy, mathematics. When he and my father met, it was love at first sight. They studied together and made great plans. But in the end, Jack would always start talking about his cathedral again. This great church he would build one day. 
rib vaults and pointed windows. He'd ramble on about it for hours and stare up at that ceiling. We three sat here for hours and talked, and then in the evenings it would be just the two of us. So many strange ideas about the future, some barely more than silly dreams, others almost in arm's reach. Well, where is he now? Well, he's not here anymore. My father had offered him work as a master builder here in Toledo. He would have been well off and free to spend his evenings under vaults like this, with me as his wife. But in the end, he refused. Tell me, did you really marry his stepbrother? It was the hardest decision I ever made. But it also felt like a sacrifice I had to make to fulfill a promise I made to my father. It was all for nothing. I thought I had no choice. I didn't want to hurt him. Believe me. I do. You know... He left me because of you. Even after all you did to him, he couldn't let go. You can be glad that you ran into me and not my mother. She was enraged when he left. <laughs> he can have that effect on people. But apart from that, we made our peace with him. Father even gave him one of his favorite pieces of his collection as a parting gift. A small wooden statue with stone eyes in exchange for his slingshot. Would you mind telling me where he went? He went to Paris to work on the Cathedral of Saint-Denis. He said he never found out about his father, so there was no reason to stay down here anymore. Paris? Yes. If you find him there, tell him I don't miss him. I am sorry for all this. You don't have to be. What is the child's name, by the way? Well, he has none yet. I wouldn't name him without Jack. Isn't that a bit silly? <laughs> Maybe. But he's his son as well as mine. It's his right to have a say in it too. Then off to Paris. That baby needs a name. He will get one. Thank you. I travelled back along the Way of St. James, passing through Astorga, Lyon, and Burgos. I crossed the Pyrenees, revisiting Bordeaux, Angoulême, Poitiers, but never stayed longer than one night. The closer I came to Paris, the stronger my old doubts and fears resurfaced. If Jack really was there, what was I to say to him? We had to hear each other out before we could walk on again, in whatever direction that would be.